I'm in one of the many public restrooms here on the Shelton State campus. Here is where you'll find water and soap that you need for hand hygiene. You'll also note flyers in the restrooms and in other places that give you step-by-step -step instructions on hand washing and other things that you can do to protect yourself and to protect others. Here in the restroom, when I'm washing my hands, I will need to first look to see what I have available. I have my sink, I have my soap, and I have paper towels and an air dryer. Both of these are acceptable ways for drying your hands after hand washing. Before I start washing my hands and getting my soap and my water, I wanna go ahead and get my paper towels ready. This handle is contaminated. If I were to wash my hands and then go touch this handle to get my paper towels, I would then recontaminate my hands. So now I want to go ahead and get those ready. All right, now I can come and wash my hands. First, I'm gonna turn my water on. I can use warm or cold water. I just don't want it scalding hot. And I'm gonna wet my hands before I get my soap. If I were to put my soap on dry hands, I could irritate my skin, but also when I go to wet my hands, I might wash it all down the drain. I'm going to get my soap and then I'm going to cover my hands with it and I'm going to scrub my hands for a minimum of 20 seconds. If my hands are really dirty, it might take a little bit longer. If you need something to help you know how long 20 seconds is, you could hum happy birthday to yourself twice. As I'm scrubbing my hands, I'm going to make sure to cover every surface with friction, the palms of my hands, the backs of my hands, in between my fingers, and even under my fingernails. Then after I've scrubbed for 20 seconds, I'm gonna rinse the soap off my hands. The soap helps to dislodge any dirt or any germs that may be on my hands and washes them down the drain. After rinsing the soap off my hands, I'm now, without touching my faucets, because those are contaminated, going to grab my paper towel and I'm going to dry my hands. I can then use my paper towel to turn off my faucets and then if needed, I can get another paper towel to use on that contaminated door handle as I walk out. If you're in a restroom that only has the air dryers and has no paper towels available, when you're walking out the door, if there's a handle that needs to be touched for the door to be opened, you can use your shirt or a sleeve. Just make sure you don't use those freshly washed hands to touch that contaminated handle. While soap and water are preferred for hand hygiene, when soap and water are not available, you can use hand sanitizer. The sanitizer that we have here on campus does meet the CDC recommendations for what is approved against the fight of COVID-19. If your hands are visibly soiled though, you need to find some soap and water. To use hand sanitizer, you first need to get an appropriate amount and then rub it on all surfaces of your hands, including between your fingers, the backs of your hands, your palms, and you need to rub it in until it is dry. The times when sanitizer is not effective is when you either don't have enough or you wipe it off before it has a chance to dry.